hi everyone and welcome back to my channel so i'm going to do another one of these best buys from a certain supermarket and today's video is going to be waitrose so if you would like to see what my favorite buys from waitrose are then keep watching <laughs> So if you're new to my channel and you have no idea what this video is, I'm Charlotte and I do videos on YouTube obviously and I'm a mum to three amongst many other different things about me. But what I did not too long ago was my favourite Best Buys from Aldi. Uh, now Aldi, if you're not familiar with it is a very affordable supermarket in the UK. It has some fantastic buys there and I will leave a link to that video down below if you want to see what I like getting from there. But on the opposite end of the spectrum, one of the most high-end supermarkets in the UK is one called Waitrose and I love it but Disclaimer, I don't do big shops there because it is on the more expensive side. There are a lot of luxury items, but I do like nipping in for treats and little like favourites now and again. And then also because it's local to me, it's easy for me to nip in and out if I need something really quickly when I'm out and about and that kind of thing. So I'm going to show you what I've got. Now with what I've just said, most of these items are little treats or things that I just really love but I wouldn't buy very frequently. That's just how I use weight but you know some of you might be regular waitress shoppers and if you are leave us some suggestions down in the comments below of other things that we can check out so the first thing that i'm going to share and i cannot wait to eat this later is this because waitress bakery section even the waitress where i live which isn't huge is amazing they have loads of different types of things and this is their cheese pretzel and it's so good there's like melted but like hardened shards of cheese on it and it's such an amazing snack i pick like one of these up now and again if i fancy it they've got like little cupcakes loads of different types of pastries and you know if you're ever doing like a brunch or you've got like friends or guests coming over and you want to do like a nice spread then it's really really nice to check out things like this because they're just fantastic the next thing that i want to share are these and these are my fave they're so so good if you can't see <laughs> on screen properly it is a package of eight honey and rosemary pork chipolatas wrapped in oak smoked dry cured bacon now these would be like fantastic with like mash and gravy and veg on the side like we've had them for that before they're great for like a supercharged breakfast sandwich or butty or whatever you want to call it like these a couple of these with like a fried egg in a nice like bagel or something so so good and i really really enjoy getting these you can get a lot of their meat for like two for five pounds so actually in the like grand scheme of things these aren't mega mega expensive but um obviously they are still a little bit more luxury and i just get them now and again like we got them for christmas as an example for like christmas breakfast before and they're really really good next up i'm going to talk about ready meals now i am like a big foodie i love to cook i love to cook so much i love like cooking from scratch and i know what's gone into everything but I'm not a food snob. If you need a ready meal or you want something quick and easy now and again, that's absolutely fine. Like, it's fine by me anyway. I ain't gonna judge you. And Waitrose has some wicked, wicked ready meal stuff, particularly their, like, world food sections. They're, like, Indian cuisine, Thai cuisine, Chinese cuisine, that kind of thing. There are some fantastic buys, and they often do, like, a meal for two for, like, £10, so you can pick and choose what you like, and that's not too much more expensive than other places either, and I personally think that the quality is a lot better. Now, two of our faves... I actually managed to pick these up reduced because we're going to have them tonight anyway. But these are originally £3.29 and they were down for £2.29. And these are crispy and sweet breaded prawns with like a sweet chilli dip. And they are just, they're so nice. I mean, well, I say that, I'm not a seafood fish eater at all. But Mark and Bill in particular absolutely love these. So we're going to have those for tea tonight and they're just always enjoyed every time I do pick them up. And then my personal favourite, again, like £3.29 are these and it's chicken carage i think it's called and it's chicken breast fillet in a crispy coating seasoned with garlic ginger and pepper and it's just like crispy chicken but the flavors are amazing i'm a sucker for like fried chicken anyway like breaded I just oh my god it's so good but these are so tasty and they're quite versatile these as well because you could put them in a wrap with like loads of salad and like a garlic and herb mayo that kind of thing or like sweet chili sauce you can make like um chicken katsu with them if you wanted to you can serve them in various different ways but they're so good and i just really really do appreciate their ready meal section i just think it's really 
tasty and you can't go wrong. Also in that section are these and I'm going to put this out there. These are the best store brought naan breads you can buy in my personal opinion because they taste so much more authentically like the takeaway ones which you know obviously if you are a, a different culture to me you might even taste the takeaway ones and think they're like absolute rubbish I don't know but if I'm gonna order an Indian takeaway one of the things I absolutely love is their naan I think it's amazing and these garlic and coriander are my fave they are m the most similar I've ever found that you can buy like for cheaper in a supermarket and they're so so good and they come in like the meal deal you see a little sticker there that's a side so they're really 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 worth trying um i think the ms ones are really good as well but these are my favorite and obviously waitrose is more local to me one thing i really like about waitrose from like a foodie perspective anyway is that they have so many different like herbs and spices and like ingredients that i think are much harder to find at other supermarkets or at least the ones that are local to me i really really struggle to find certain things like the other day i was trying to make pad thai from scratch and the only place that i could find tamarind paste was waitrose and i was so thankful for that because that's how you get that authentic taste isn't it and i took a few clips in store of like things that you can get there that just some of them i don't even know what they are yet and it makes me excited as someone that likes to cook so i thought i would include those little clips just in case you're like me and you're curious but one of the things that is really really good is this india paste i'm hoping i've said that right i think i have and it's basically like a paste like a sausage paste a little bit spicy and you can really pimp up a pizza base with this so you could spread this instead of like tomato puree or like a pizza base mix that kind of thing and it's just a really different way of jazzing things up and I love that about Waitrose so I thought we'd include this as well because it's really tasty. Speaking of pizza another thing that I've only ever been able to find at Waitrose are these and this is the Northern Dough Pizza Dough. You can buy it in the frozen section and it's two frozen balls of pizza dough and you basically just leave it out today like I'm doing right now to defrost and then you can make pizza really quickly from scratch. They taste so good and they're really authentic and if you are pushed for time but you still want to do that whole process with your kids where you want to like roll out the dough and show them how you do it properly then it's another option rather than just buying like a pizza base and it tastes so much better so if you are pushed for time so worth a try because I really enjoy it. I don't get them all the time, but when I do fancy making pizzas like we're going to do tonight for the kids, it's such a good buy. Really, really good buy. You won't regret it. Another random favourite from Waitrose, which is the first I've ever seen of its kind. Other supermarkets are copying now, but Waitrose have been doing this for years. And it's the Sofrito mix. So it's a fine dice of celery, carrot and onion. And this is fantastic base for spaghetti bolognese or even chilies or soups and things like that. And it's just it's over one pound i think it's one pound ten something like that but i grab it every time i'm in there if i fancy making like a spag bowl and i think it's really like quick and easy so if you again you are pushed for time very well worth a pickup the last thing that i'm going to show are treats like they're all i mean a lot of these things are not things that i would buy every single day they're more for like indulgences and like you know weekends that kind of thing but Right, I don't even like cheesecake that much. Mark is a huge cheesecake fan, but these are the English Cheesecake Company Lotus Biscoff Cheesecakes, and I don't know if you can see how delicious they look, but they're so good, and even I like them, and I normally find cheesecake to be a bit claggy, and it's just not my jam, but these are incredible. So these are like a surprise for Mark. I'm gonna give him like them tonight. Well, I'll have one, he can have one, we can have a treat, it's a Friday. Um, but they're so, so nice. And that's another thing about which is loads of like random desserts that you might not necessarily see elsewhere. And they're always really, really good quality as well. So again, if you're doing like a Sunday lunch or like a date night and you want a treat, then very good. They also do loads of tapas bits or like nibbles and tapasti that kind of thing. I think a lot of supermarkets do that now so it's not like it's original to Waitrose but the Serrano Involtinis with chimichurri are wow. They're so good. Let me read what they are for you so you can appreciate them fully. Right, It's basically rolls of Serrano ham and inside is black olive and ricotta cheese and then they have a chimichurri dressing. They're just so good and they're from the world deli section and again if we do like barbecues or like a tapas night won't always buy them because i do think they're expensive but as a treat next thing is a certain brand <laughs> of giant corn because i've shared these in a video i think before but they're so so good they're inca snacks they're gluten-free gmo-free and nut-free and they're gourmet salted 
roasted giant corn you can get like a chili flavor but i just prefer the salted original version they're about a quid you get 48 grams but they are one of my favorite snacks with like a glass of wine at the weekend they're just like you know like the saltiness and you wash it down with some bubbles or whatever it's really really nice and um i will go in there often for these because i haven't found any as nice as these and they are like better than crisps in my opinion if you just fancy a salty snack so really really like them and then the final food item are my favorite sweets in the world and this is like a genuine genuine thing and it's these and they are the waitrose like own brand like quite basic packaging but they are sour pastels temptingly tangy tongue teasers made with fruit cheese but they are so so tangy and i love like fizzy sweets they're so nice and the um grapefruit ones in here are my favorite they're like the light like white coloured ones they're so nice and i've bought many a packet of these over the years and i think my mum likes them too but yeah they do have like lots of own brand stuff that is like really affordable it's not all just like these glorious fancy brands so even if you've never been in before and you feel like it's like out of your price range it's always worth having a nosy because a lot of these supermarkets just end up like being put into brackets based on hype and stuff and there is like quite affordable bits in there and then finally probably the main reason that i go into waitrose is is to get these i have like a waitrose membership card that's where you get your free coffee as well so if you've never been in there before you get a free coffee but in order to help the environment they've stopped doing um like cardboard cups basically so you have to take in your own which is a great thing like i purchased one from amazon a couple of months ago and that's what i use if i get my free coffee which is really handy but more than free coffee which is great in anyone's book is the fact that they do the waitrose food magazine and i love food magazines i've spoken about it in other videos like favorites videos before they just make me so happy and they're free when you have a membership card and they this is the new one it was out today i've not seen it yet and i just think it's the best one out of all of the ones that i read apart from maybe the bbc good food one which i've got a subscription for for my birthday but you know even if you go in and you just like grab some sour sweets and get your free coffee and then pick this up it's well worth it it's really really good read and i like to keep them and refer to them for recipes and stuff like that and then speaking of recipes they do some really 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 good recipe cards i know lots of shops do these but they are just a little bit more inventive a lot of the time these are just their basic ones so this one is roasted sweet potato and goat's cheese salad i've got a poached chicken and smashed cucumber salad and then this one is a hundreds and thousands cake which which I just thought I would pick up because it might be a nice one to keep in for like baking with the kids on a rainy day that kind of thing and then something that they've started doing recently which I think is pretty cool is like beautifully simple recipes it says and what it is is that they have like a special area where all of the ingredients for these recipes like they do with like a few new ones every month they're all laid out so you literally pick up a recipe card and go mm, I like the look of that and you just grab the ingredients and then you can make this meal for like you and you're the half or whatever but like let me just count how many ingredients are for each recipe to see how like actually easy they are it's one two okay so glazed gammon with parsley potato and bean salad has six recipes steak with sweet potato wedges and slaw has eight and then char grilled vegetable and asparagus salad has seven now obviously the cost will vary depending on like you know what the ingredients are that kind of thing but if you're ever in a rush you can like pick these up and then like you've got a meal sorted but also you can pick them up and then go and buy the ingredients elsewhere from somewhere like aldi just saying but yeah that is my favorites from waitrose i like i said i don't go in there like too often it's not like my chosen place to shop all the time but they do do some really good bits and like i feel like if you go to every supermarket you will prefer certain things that certain places do i think it's just the way it is isn't it but definitely worth a nosy and i hope that you found it useful anyway let me know in the comments down below which shop you would like me to do next some of them are easier than others like i don't really shop in asda that much so i might have to have like a proper nosy around there but sainsbury's is one I could do or Morrison's but you let me know let me know what you prefer and I will start having a look and do my research but yeah I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful or just like you know you enjoyed watching it anyway and have a lovely day whatever you're up to thanks for watching Bye.